Hi guys. Thank you for jo joining me. It's Shauna J. Ray. I wanted to give you a video to help you guys out because this is something I've been struggling with. Uh, not really insomnia, but just falling asleep at night, staying, you know, having a good consistent sleep at night. And I wanted to share some tips that have helped me out. I think I have about five of them. So I just want to go over those things with you. Really simple stuff. Uh, some simple stuff that you can, you know, implement yourself. Some things, you know, I'll have linked in the description below for you if you want to go and purchase these things. They're really inexpensive things to help you sleep. Nothing you have to continuously buy over and over and over again. And, you know, just in general. Yeah, so some of these things I've implemented with my girls as well has helped them sleep too at night. So you know I had to come to you guys with me on my pajamas. I love this black satin set. I've had it forever. But I'm just gonna first tell you just some things that we should all kind of generally practice before we go into like really like in-depth things about trying to figure out how to sleep better. And it's like little simple stuff that we can stop doing before bed. That means stop drinking sugary caffeinated drinks before bed. Um, of course, we can kind of limit our screen time. Screen time helps a lot because it kind of gets the brain like just going, going, going. I don't even take heed to my own things that I really should. But things like that can really help. Another thing that helps is stretching and maybe a little bit of light exercise before bed. Not too much strenuous exercise because that can actually ramp you up and like, you know, like kind of like runner's high. That kind of endorphin rush can kind of send you like overboard and you might not be able to rest still. But a little bit of yoga, a little light stretching, maybe, you know, like jumping jacks and things like that. Those things will help you out to kind of settle your body to get you to rest a little easier. Now, a few things that have helped me, besides just those things, um, I don't always give up the screen time. I still have that problem sometimes, but I've been sleeping a lot better since doing these things. So one of those things is making lists. I'm a big list person, but I realize that sometimes the reason why I lay in bed at night is because I'm just like, oh, I have to think. I have to do this tomorrow oh I have to go here tomorrow oh, I have to do this that and the third and it's like I don't realize my brain is just it won't pause it won't go off nothing so making a list like a brain dump list um, journaling same difference just kind of getting your thoughts out on paper um, you know just kind of think about it like okay sit down and say okay take out the dry cleaning take out the trash walk the, you know walk the dog grab the mail like write down your list before bed that has been huge you don't have to pay anybody to do that all you have to do is get a pen and paper and and brain dump on that page that has been really really big for me I used to do that a long time ago and now I didn't I don't anymore so I made sure I went back to that that has helped so another thing that I also have been doing for a couple of years now not every single night but for the most part every um, for the most part more more than not I have been listening to affirmations at night so I actually have a playlist and I'll link that in the description box be box below of my favorite ash affirmations to listen to it's um, various affirmations but the affirmations I kind of stick with are from you are creators just a little shout out for them because you know this isn't sponsored or anything i literally have been listening to you are creators their nighttime or their affirmations in general i actually made a playlist of that just for my phone that i listen to every night and it's about passive income about being confident about just in general just good things for you to listen to while you're going to sleep about gratitude and things like that so that really puts me in a really good mood when i do go to sleep I start kind of winding down, listening to the calming background music. His voice is very, you know, most of the nighttime ones are very calming and things like that, obviously, because they're for, the, for sleeping. So I usually just prop my phone up, you know, while it's charging, leave it charging and have it on low by my nightstand. And I let that play. Uh, the playlist that I have for my phone is about five hours so that it's hitting my subconscious with the affirmations. So that's really, really important. You can listen to affirmations day or night, but I I prefer to listen to those affirmations completely at night and through throughout the night. But I like to make sure I am conscious before I fall asleep. Like my brain is a little bit more awake so I can kind of focus on those words as he is speaking to kind of like slow my brain down and kind of get it just, you know, in that mode. 
Now another thing that I like to do is uh, wash my body with like uh, lavender or like a calming nighttime body wash. I often keep a lavender body wash in my shower or I can take any body wash, add a little bit of this lavender oil. Uh, I believe you can use any lavender oil that's okay in your skin. I use Young Living Lavender Oil and I put a couple of drops depending on how much is in my soap. I put a couple of drops of this in there so every time I bathe that night I use that soap and that has helped wind me down. I also do it for my girls, put that in there. This helps a lot. Now you can also do a few other things with oil. So I also use cedarwood oil and I'll make sure I have everything linked in the description for these oils as well. So another thing that I do with these same oils is I put lavender oil and cedarwood oil and a mix of other oils that I like but these ones are my base oil. I put a few drops in my diffuser. My diffuser I got from Aldi's, it lasts for nine hours and I use it throughout the night. So I just fill it up and I put a few drops of each of those in there and I let it run all night. I like to start it a few moments before bed so that the whole room is kind of like, not clouded, but the whole room is filled with the incense, everything, it's soaking into everything. And I do the same for my girls. I've actually been doing that for a few years now and I like to have the oils going through the house, whether it's, you know, the daytime ones for focus and, you know, concentration or the nighttime ones that soothe and things like that, like the cedarwood and lavender. So I have those going in the diffuser all night long and those help me sleep deep and through the night. Now another tip for using the cedarwood oil that helps sleep at, better sleep at night is I actually put a one drop on each foot now i've been doing this for my husband and he actually has stopped snoring when i put the cedar wood on his feet before bed and he actually says he wakes up more refreshed and well rested because i guess well he is so the cedar wood definitely definitely tops like but this the lavender actually is like very complimentary so when it comes to diffusing it or putting it on the feet at the bottom of the feet so that's a good tip for that as well you can do it diluted with a little coconut oil but a drop and rub it into the foot and that's that's about all i've ever used and it works very well now another thing that i've just started to use recently within the last probably three weeks is a nighttime mask now a nighttime mask is it's not like any other nighttime mask this is actually a bluetooth nighttime mask so it completely covers everything on your eyes and it has this so no, no light sneaks up under here in your nose curve. It actually, I noticed that I like to sleep under my pillow. I've always been like that. I like to sleep under the pillow and just because I like it completely jet black, pitch dark, whatever you want to call it at night when I sleep and that's helped me a lot, you know, and there's the pressure of the pillow on my face. But this is just as soft as having the pillow on your face. It's just like complete foam in between here. And then it's completely pitch dark. It doesn't bother anything. It's not hard. And it has a headset actually built in right here where your ears go. And you have a little charger right there as well. Well, you just set this up to your phone and you just press play on your phone and listen to whatever it is. And like I said earlier, I listen to affirmations, but recently I've been listening to my affirmations on this head, on this Bluetooth face mask. So it's, like I said, it's a dual, it's dual use, blacks everything out. So if you can, if you can't get one of these, at least get a regular face mask or take a bandana or something. That helps you a lot with sleeping at night. And this has like a little stretchy part right here. This is stretch. So it's not too tight, it's not too loose. I actually use it on the tight, one of the tightest settings to completely cover the Velcro and it's perfect. The headset part doesn't bother you at all either because they are flat pieces. So it's very soft, velvety, I love it. This has been a lifesaver. And I can actually hear my affirmations a lot better. Instead of having them on low across the room, I have it on low right up against my ear and I hear everything. Last but not least, something I discovered recently is a weighted blanket. I am over the moon of my weighted blanket and everybody makes fun of me. If you follow me on, on Instagram, Shauna J. Ray, I am always posting about being in it. This is completely unsponsored. I wanted to share with you guys, this is like 
huge to me. Now I've heard about weighted blankets before and I've always wanted to try one because I thought I would like it anyway. It just sounded like something I wouldn't like, you know, help me relax. Well, one day I was at Walmart quite recently, like a couple of weeks ago I was at Walmart and I saw this weighted blanket. Usually weighted blankets are so expensive. They're usually like $100 for like a regular blanket. So I've never, you know, I wanted to make one, but like making one, like it's a lot of work. They're not cheap and it's a lot of work if you want to make one yourself. So this one was actually $50, which is still not cheap, but I mean most quilts and stuff people buy, they're like $20, they're like $50. So I had to snatch it up. I found it at Walmart, but I actually will link, um, I think I just found it that at that Walmart, but I'll link below that you can actually find one just like this at Amazon on Amazon. So I'll make sure I link that in the description for you guys if y'all want to try one out as well. But here it is, Ugh, it's very heavy. Here it is, it is a velvety on one side and it is like regular polyester or something on the inside. So it, this blanket in particular is 12 pounds and it is 48 by 72, which is basically one single person blanket sometimes you can get one other person but y'all have to be like psh, close together but I like to lay in it like a cocoon so it covers me from like right under my chin and I wrap it under my feet just a little bit under my feet and so it completely encases me I was reading something on why it's not really great to buy the big big ones for just one person because the extra material is actually wasted on the rest of the bed so you have all this weight like spread out all over the bed that's not actually on the body so yeah that's why I was like okay when I read that I was like okay so that's not so bad I do want to get a full blanket for the both of us on the bed but right now this one is great so I use this every single night I actually only sleep with this one at night and it's been huge I can't explain to you exactly the best way I can explain to you how it feels you don't actually feel the weight on you it's just kind of like a warm sensation or like obviously because it's a blanket but it's like a different type of warm sensation it's almost like a another body warm it's not like just like you know but it doesn't make me sweat at night it's not like overly hot it feels like just any other blanket and it's filled with weighted glass pellets so that's where you get the 12 pounds so when you first put it on like I said you don't feel the weight but it kind of encases you and makes your whole body just like kind of relax like you kind of like, you know, if you ever got a massage or any type of like, if you've had a pain and then like, like you take medicine for it and your whole body just like, <sighs> that's how it feels all over where the actual blanket is touching you. It just feels like so relaxing. You're so like, just, <sighs> my husband explained it like, it feels like your body is right where it needs to be. Like there's no need to move. There's no need to, to, to shift or anything. So it kind of, does that and it relaxes your body and it kind of makes you kind of stay there all night so I'm a very wild sleeper but with the weighted blanket I've been a like more relaxed sleeper and you, even when I toss it's not like tossing and turning like oh, oh, I can't get comfortable I can't get comfortable it's more like I'm laying there and I can feel that I've been laying there for a while and then my body's like now turn and then I just gently turn but when I wake up in the morning I am in the same spot all night which is crazy for me because I usually end up all over the bed. But I have been using this. It kind of makes you like just feel like happy and elated. Like even my husband like lays and he just sits in smalls because it just feels really relaxing. And I think that's part of the reason why it, it helps so much with sleep. So I am going to get all of us one of these because it actually has helped my daughter go to sleep as well. Like. They just rock, they just curl up in it, but I read that they can't use this one because it is too heavy, but I don't let them sleep with it all night. It's more like they like throw it on their bodies and they rest, relax, and I toss them in their bed. So I'm going to get them one. I already have it picked out that I'm going to get on Amazon, so I can't wait to get them those. I am so happy with this weighted blanket. You guys don't understand. It's so cozy. It's like, you know, when you have your blankie when you're little, this is my blankie. And it's gray, like the aesthetic of my, my new my new decorating aesthetic so I was really happy about that I they only had the gray at Walmart so 
there's that. But there's lots of colors on Amazon, things like that. Lots of different weights and sizes on Amazon. So like I said, I'll link this one and then y'all can go from there and find the one you're looking for. Yeah, so I hope you guys can actually utilize the tips that I have been and I hope they work for you guys. Sometimes I use these tips all together. Sometimes I use these things one and two at a time. I don't always do every single thing at night, but I know that they have all helped me in some form or another for some length of time. So I hope, like I said, they will help you guys. I hope you guys are sleeping better. I hope you guys are staying in the bed, you know, as you need to and getting your rest. And that's why I wanted to make this video. And I really appreciate you watching. Thank you. Bye.